All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have kids. I have two uh, two girls, twins, and uh, they're eight years old. And uh, you know, if they're not eating food, if they're not playing with their toys, if they're not playing with their neighbor friends, if they're not watching YouTube videos of other kids playing with toys, they do a common complaint. They say, uh, "Daddy, I'm bored." Daddy, I'm bored. I don't know what to do. I'm bored. I hear that all the time. And the thing is, I give them a pass because they're kids. But here's the thing, man. Did you know I've never been bored in my life? I don't get bored. I don't believe in it. I don't even think boredom exists. I hear it a lot. Uh, I allow kids to say it because they're kids. But when you're a grown-up, you don't get to be bored. It doesn't even make sense. I'm going to explain to you why boredom doesn't even really exist. It, at the very most, boredom is just a band-aid. It's just a smoke screen to hide a deeper problem. That's what I want to talk about. What happens is, though, a lot of adults, they can't deal with the underlying causes of their boredom, so they do dumb stuff. They, uh, you know, they break up with the person they're going out with to get a new relationship because they're bored. Or they get a makeover. Or they shop. They just buy a bunch of stuff they don't need. You know, I've never done that before in my life. <laughs> I don't know if I'm bored. I just think I lust after certain things. That's a different topic, different video. Uh, some people start a new blog. Yeah, I'm going to start a blog. Yes. Ooh, some of us, we're bored. We'll, we'll start a new YouTube channel. Uh, great idea. And so. Why do people do this? Well, they say they're bored. And the thing is, people aren't really bored. I want to explain what people really are. Um, what people really are is they're angry. But it's not just that they're angry, it's that they don't know that they're angry or they don't want to know. It's willful ignorance. And I'm going to explain why the anger people have is something they don't want to see. First of all, when we talk about anger, you know, there's a lot of reasons why we're, as adults, we're angry. There's pretty much three basic reasons why we're angry. Number one is, you know, we were told in life to play by the rules, work hard, and good things would come. And honestly, it doesn't necessarily work out that way. The contract is not being fulfilled. The world is getting crazier. There's things going on in the world we can't control that it's like AI and... CRISPR and genetic reengineering, globalism, uh, you know, the haves are getting all the dough, the have-nots aren't getting any of the dough, and there, there's a sense that we can't even control what's going on. People are siloed off in their little information bubbles, uh, thanks to social media, and the world's just too crazy, and it defies everything that we were told growing up about following the rules and good things will come our way. The world's just too crazy for us to believe that, and it makes us angry, because we, most of us are pretty decent people. We, uh, we play by the rules, and uh, we feel that the world is just way too chaotic for us to reap any of the benefits that we were told we would get. And that's something that we can't control. The second reason why a lot of us are angry is that the people in our uh, circle, family and friends, they're not giving us enough attention. They're not giving us enough love. They're not giving us enough validation. While, of course they're not, because they're just like you. They're trapped in their own heads, and they're trapped in their own uh, treadmill of, of over-busy existence. So yeah, you are probably getting ignored and uh, not getting uh, validated, and you're feeling needy, and your serotonin levels are down, which is making you more needy, and now you're in a negative feedback loop. You're in you need to do something about that and stop screaming that you're bored. So the third reason why uh, you're angry is because you're angry at yourself for your failed discipline and your failed moral courage. I mean, it's up to you to change your feedback loop and, and make it positive. So what happens is these causes of anger are just way too overwhelming. A lot of us succumb to learned helplessness. We just say, ah, there's nothing I can do about it. I don't even want to confront it. I don't want to see it. I'll just dig it deep into my gut. And so, you know, anger gets pushed deep into our gut. It's kind of like uh, eating a chocolate chip cookie with a lug nut in it. You got a lug nut in your gut. 
and you don't you don't know how to deal with it now it's it's making you act out you're anxious and you're distracted and what happens is when you're anxious and restless and distracted you can't focus and when you can't focus you can't get engaged with anything a book a magazine article playing the piano having a conversation with people and you interpret your inability to focus and engage with boredom you're not really bored you're anxious and the reason why you're anxious is because you got that lug nut in your gut that anger that you're not confronting so at the end of the day you gotta make a choice you gotta stop telling yourself and the world that you're bored you gotta rip off the band-aid the superficial band-aid that tells the world and yourself that you're bored and you instead you got to look at the deep wound, the causes of your anger, and confront it. It's up to you. It's your choice. I mean, you can either rip the Band-Aid off and find out why you're complaining all the time that you're bored, or you can spend the rest of your life whining. It's, it's your choice, you know, and, and that's how I see it. I've never been bored in my life. I do get overwhelmed with my uh, fears and anger, but at least I articulate them as best I can, because for me, boredom is no option. Tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. And until next time, I'm out.